Hi everyone, James here from F9 Audio, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the F9 toolkit for Logic 9. Now, you will have downloaded a zip file from us. Please back it up in a safe location on your filing system. The reason being is that we're gonna be moving folders out of the actual uh, toolkit to install them. We're not gonna be copying them. So it's always good to be able to get back to the content because let's face it, this is a very big download and you don't wanna do it all again. So to open the zip file and decompress it, double click. One thing to make sure is that uh, it's being decompressed by the built-in archive utility that's part of OSX. If you've installed things like WinZip, Stuff It Expander, or RZ like I have here, it may hijack the zip files. Um, if you ever want to make sure that your zip files are being decompressed properly, select a zip file, Apple I, and where it says open with here, make sure archive utility is present. If WinZip is there, you can change it and then you can hit change all, bang, 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 and then forever zip files will be opened by the archive utility. The archive utility is the best thing for opening Mac zips because then we can add things like this, custom icons. So this is the folder that you've downloaded from us and these are the three folders that we're going to install. Now, we're going to put them into the user area of the Logic Library, and because of the way the filing systems have changed over the years, we're going to have to use a little trick to get to it. So we're going to come up to the Go menu here, and you'll see your folders here, Home, Computer, etc., etc. If I click the Alt button, you'll see another option appears. So that's just the Alt button on the Mac keyboard, and Library suddenly appears there. So that's how you get to your user library because it's been hidden in a few versions of OS X, mainly so we can't tinker around, but it's the best place to install this stuff. So here's the library folder. There's the application support folder that we're gonna dive into first. So open that, and then you want to look for the logic folder within that. And these are all of the different folders that are associated with logic. The first thing we're gonna want are the sampler instruments. So we're gonna open that. This one's actually blank. I'm going to take the F9 Logic TK ESX24 folder and just dump it straight in there. No, I'm moving it, I'm not copying it. Now we're gonna to go to the channel strip settings and this folder has a number of subfolders within it. It's the instrument subfolder that we want. So that's channel strip settings and instrument within. And we're gonna take the Logic Toolkit instruments and drop that into there. Now there's only one other folder that we need to install, which is the impulse responses that are used in the patches for a sound designer. So I'm gonna open the main drive of the computer, open the library folder, open the audio folder that's within that, and then you'll see an impulse responses folder. So we'll just quickly open that. Now they're already in there, so I'm just gonna install over the top, drag the log logic toolkit impulses into that folder. We'll have to authenticate it because it's at root level and we're going to replace it. There we go. Everything is now installed. If you'd like to see written instructions on this process, please open the install first readme PDF that comes within the pack where the file locations are printed in text. If you've purchased the deluxe version of this release that comes with the arrangement pages from the demos and the songwriter startup pages, these will now open perfectly. You've just got to double click them. Please note though that these pages will not work unless the content is properly installed. So please make sure you follow the steps carefully. If you have any problems with this process, please contact us at info at f9-audio.com and we'll support you and get you working. So that's it and we really hope you enjoy this release. We think it's one of the best things that we've ever done and we can't wait to hear what you guys do with it. Please make sure you check out the rest of the video manuals for this toolkit and they will show you how to get the best out of the product.